Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. Nice day out here today, and so I thought it was a perfect time to introduce you to our newest animals, these little cutie patooties over here, alpacas. A lot of people get them confused with llamas, but let me tell you the biggest difference. First of all, alpacas, a lot smaller. Llamas are gonna be really tall. The other thing is, is that llamas, they're really bred for keeping things safe. And what I mean by that is that they're really in tune to their environment, so you're always gonna see llamas looking around. They're never really gonna look at you because they're surveying their environment to make sure there's no danger. That's why a lot of times you see on ranches, a lot of times with cows and horses, you'll see a lone llama. That's because that llama is kind of like the watchdog. Alpacas, they're not really known for being watchdogs, although they're not horrible at it, but these guys are bred mainly for two reasons. For being a pack animal, a lot like a mule or a donkey, they can wear backpacks and are excellent up in the mountains. And second of all, for their fur. These guys have an unbelievable wool on them that is just revered for things like gloves and hats and things like that. And the best news is you don't have to hurt the animal to get that fur. They're just shaved just like a lamb is or like when you get your hair cut, same thing. And that's made into a wool that's then used for those products. Now let me tell you about the animal themselves because they're pretty cool. They are part of the camelid family. So the camel family, pretty amazing. You gotta see that in their face. And then not to mention, these guys have what we call a three-chambered stomach. A lot like a goat, a goat has a four-chambered. These guys are three-chambered. But if you remember, just like the goat, these guys will throw up and actually chew their cud just like a cow or a goat will do. So a lot of times you'll see these guys just randomly chewing throughout the day. Their wild counterpart, the animal in the wild, is called a vicuña, and that's actually found down in South America. Alpacas, although they can be wild, they're mainly domesticated nowadays. So to find a wild uh, alpaca out there, really rare. It's pretty much, that's what we call the vicuña, which is the wild version of the alpaca. And last but not least, if you come here to the zoo and they come up to you, just know one thing, they are pretty friendly, However, they can spit, and that's exactly what they do when they're disgusted, they're angry, they don't want you to be around, they're gonna spit right in your face. It's really gross, but they like to give signs. If you're near an apaca or a llama, they're gonna put their ears back, and that's how you know the spit is coming. So if they put their ears back when you're in the close to them, get out of there, because it's gonna come right at you, and it's gross. It's really slimy, gross, gross spit. Yuck. But guys, Trotter is the one in the back, the one up front here is Kramer. Come on by the zoo, see them, say hi to them. They're a little messy right now because they've been rolling in pine shavings, but hey, that's not okay. They are still a cute animal. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.